do you see, Sunan? Shall we begin the washing? Hey, who comes? Welcome, stranger. Are you here to pay tribute to our Lord Elderman? I heard voices as I entered. Were you speaking with him? Does his Huga speak through you? I am not sure what to call it precisely. 
Words form in my mind, and I give them voice. Often, they sound like my dear lord. Can I ask a favor of him? On behalf of his son, Hunvald. You could try, but he never speaks when others are present. Hunvald deserves to know the truth about his father's fate. He is owed an inheritance, and deserves a chance to become Elderman himself. All in good time, I imagine. No, now. When the guards put him in my care, I was told to keep all this a secret. Until the appointed time. When I asked who gave these orders, they struck me. I wish I could say more. I've seen all I need to, but Hunbold will need proof. Of course. You're welcome to search through his effects, though I'm not sure what trinket would best serve your purpose. I'll find something. I don't know what this is, and I'd rather not ask. Yes, I thought the same. Troubling. Dried herbs and berries, crushed into powder. The time between my lord's departure and his burial is... longer than usual. My lord must keep up appearances for his upcoming rites. A box of musty clothing, and a brooch with a crest. The house of the ferocious swan. This will do. I'll return this brooch to Humboldt and Lincoln. I hope the poor boy can withstand such ill news. each other's backs! Dog. Please. 
Eivor! What news? Your father's dead. Wait, what? The sigil of Humbiot's house. I found it near his body. No. No, this cannot be. He was strong, a pillar of Lincolnshire. He cannot be gone. He... <laughs> oh, you poor boy. I'm so, so sorry. I am a man, Archer. Do you hear me? I am a man and I am my father's son. Do not forget it. Keep steady, Hunwald. You're now the head of your house. Another swan takes flight. Only I remain. Last in a line of... ...dwindling nobles. I'm sorry, Hunwald. I had already asked a priest to administer last rites when your father disappeared. What? I didn't tell you sooner because I... I thought by some miracle he had survived. You lied to me! You silly, sobbing mooncalf. Will you never grow up? Lord have mercy on that woman. She should have said something. It was her duty to say something. Hunwald was the son of an elderman. Will he take his father's seat? The title is not hereditary, but he can plead his case before a shire moot. King Cheowulf must then ratify the decision. Explain how this works, your shire moot. A moot is a meeting of lords. We convene from time to time to steer the course of our shire. It was always my intention to convene a moot. But between our troubles in Lincoln and the bandits' raids, we slipped into a pattern of convenience. We have a similar custom, what we call an Althing. An assembly of good folk. With so many like habits, there should be peace between our people and yours. Perhaps that begins now. Apart from Hunwald, who else will stand for the ultimate seat? If I may be so bold, I should like to put my name forward. Under my care, this Shire has found some peace this past month. I will offer my name as well. My family has ancient ties to this land. And I am proud to say I have forged quite a friendship with the Danes to the north. Good. My priests will spread word of the moot across the Shire and will convene in a few days' time. Uh, do visit my estate, Eivor. I have something for you. Something I think you'll enjoy. I'll find the time. Eivor, a word if you don't mind. Is the word Christ or pagan? Oh, I deeply regret my churlish ways when we first met. I did not treat you as my god commands, with kindness and love. Love is a difficult feeling to command. Yes, quite. In any case, thank you for putting this mystery to rest. I do hope we'll see you at the moot. Hunbiot's death an open secret. Hunwald's enemies may strike again. I should find him before they do. Archer went to console him. I should follow her.
Archer, where is Hunbold? I tried to console him, but he pushed me away. I love the boy, I do. But I fear what would happen if he took his father's title. He's fragile and scattered. I saw him ride north, following the paved Roman road. To the old tall tree where he often passed time with his father, I imagine. Humboldt loved you like family and you lied to his face. In my way, I was trying to protect him. Oh, Saint Cuthbert, give me strength. Oath and ale work better than your prayers and saints. Huh? What's going on? Oh, what a pleasant surprise. Would you drink with me? Unbold. Come, s sit, sit. Stay with me a while and contemplate... 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 The view. Be easy with your grief, Unbold. If you're not careful, it's a poison you'll bear in your blood for the rest of your life. No need to worry. <gasps> for I have found the antidote for it. Do not gorge on grief, nor give in to sadness. But let your aching love light the meat of your eyes and lead you to triumph. That is quite lovely. My father would have liked you. He liked all those who could swing a sword and speak a verse with ease. He had a large heart and a love for his people. I think I would have liked him too. <laughs> he and I used to wander up this way all the time. He would take me hunting, and I would catch the most wretched little things if I caught anything at all. I was a rubbish hunter. <laughs> but he always said he was proud. Each and every time. A toast. To your father, Lord Hunbeoth of Lincolnshire. He may have dwindled from this world in death, but in life he was as stalwart as this tree. The wise old oak. Yes. Skull. Skull. <laughs> and then, and then my father says, it's the right goat, but it's the wrong end. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Oh, my Swanborough loves that one. <laughs> she has a great sense of humor, my lady love. Father would have liked her. 
Right. Your Dane lady love. She sounds lovely. Too lovely to be real. You know what? We should visit her. We should go to Brimsky. Uh, uh, Grimsby. Yes, yes, there's no time to lose. After you. Nothing like drinking and riding to jostle your troubles away. And the contents of your gut. Now come and enjoy the splendor of my shire. You Saxons and your tiny splendor. You've never seen mountains, have you? Or deep fjords, like a giant's axe wound. Or towering falls that steam in the dead of winter. Snow sparkling like a blanket of jewels. That is splendor. Well, if your homeland is so splendorful, why come to England at all? Uh, uh, you can't grow crops on a blanket of jewels. Ah, I'll admit, true. your countryside does take the breath away. Quite so, quite so. I love this land. And should I follow my father's footsteps, I shall do my solemn duty to protect her. I know many think me foolish and experienced, but I would ask that they judge me by my future hopes, not my past reputation. If I am given sway over this land and show myself to be a poor leader, shame me, punish me, of course. But give me that chance. My God, I just want to have that chance. What was that? Birds, Eivor. Has no one told them today is a day of grief? Shh, quiet. Stop here. Something isn't right. I'll find the trouble before it finds us. That's twice they've tried to kill you, Hunwald. And twice failed! We had luck. But if you're not more careful, they will succeed. Someone in Mercia wants you dead. And they'll kill anyone in the way to see it done. Yes, including my dear Swanborough, my lady love. Come, let us hurry away! I'm serious, Hunwald. Are you hearing me? Plain and clear. Follow me! Unwald, are you sure this place is safe? The safest spot in the Shire, yes. Here I am with a chance to be Elderman, but I have yet to prove myself worthy. To you, to the Shire, to her. I can do nothing without my darling lady. 
You've made me realize how much I've neglected her through this fatal stupor of mine. This I must see for myself. dead why didn't you send word it has been far too long my little jewel i'm so very sorry for that i'm fine my love i wilt it without you but still i grow and who is this ah yes i am proud to present eivor of the raven clan hello eivor a pleasure to meet you and you swanborough I wasn't sure what to make of Hunwald's stories, yet here you are. Surprised to find the Dane by his side? Not quite. I'm surprised to find the Saxon at yours. Hunwald seems to endear himself to all sorts. Eivor agreed to help me find my father. But I'm afraid it hasn't gone as well as I'd hoped. What's happened? My father is dead. Died of a cruel disease, apparently. Then shunted off to a cellar for burial. Oh, my love, I'm sorry. And someone in your shire wants to make sure Hunwald follows his father to the grave. Let them try. I'll cut their throats. A shire mood will soon be held. Hunwald should stay here, out of sight, until he can attend. What if I left it all behind, my love? Forget my father's seat. What if I stayed here with you? Just the two of us. Hunwald, no. This Shire must be led with courage and heart. Follow in your father's footsteps and lead the Shire as he did. Rest, Humwald. By sunrise you'll have shed all your tears and pissed out the last of the ale. Eivor is right, Humwald. Tomorrow is a new day. Yes. Yes. Resting next to my angel will heal all that is broken within me. Be well, Eivor, and thank you. Keep watch over that one. Men have come for him more than once. My blade will keep him safe. I don't doubt it. <laughs> 